So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. You're just joining us, we are already on the way. Played into space out wide. So who's he picking out? And he just whacks it away. Looking for a decent ball in. And back out it comes. Christian Atsu plays it forward. Up towards the front line. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. He'll have a go. Oh, denied brilliantly. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Hoists it forward. Christian Atsu. And it's Ayu. Christian Atsu! Oh, that is rather wayward. to get it forward quickly forward it goes well that's where he wants it and it's played forward and that's been one straight back if you have just joined us well you've missed no goals out towards the flank Partey Pate goes looking. And it's played forward. Oh, good interception. Forward it goes. Pate. Baba plays it forward. Drives it towards the front. Tries to get it forward quickly. Pate drives it forward, and he's there to clear it. And here's Atsu. Hoists it forward. Adam. And it's played forward. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Forward it goes. The referee's had a look. He's blown his whistle for half time. Both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. We'll do it back on the first 45 minutes. Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. Well, after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. And we're already back on the way here. Ghana can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. And that's clear-cut. It's a free kick.
Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Unal. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Gets it back. Looks to bypass the midfield. Ayu gets into a dangerous position. And it's Christian Atsu. Christian Atsu gets it out to the wing. That's a pop! Try. The outcome could so easily have been different. He's got rid of that. And here's Ayu. Ayu. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Unal plays a clever pass. Unal. There's a lot of movement up front. Yeah, I have noticed that those uh, front players are working very hard, dropping deeper. Yeah, and I just think it keeps the opposition off guard with, with so much switching of position. Keeping shape is, is much harder. Played towards the front men. Well positioned to make that interception. Breakthrough and well into the second period, it is still anyone's game. And for a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Dashing forward at pace, goes for the cross, defending of the desperate variety. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. It's broken loose! Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Tries to get it forward quickly, cuts it out. Into the last five minutes. The defence can get it clear. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. So nothing between them in nine.